Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Elizabeth, Colorado to visit Terry Gale's Rambler Ranch. This is a truly amazing place. Now, Terry's got about 160 acres, and in addition to this staging area, which houses three to 400 diamonds in the rough awaiting restoration, Terry has about 200 fully restored cars in his collection. Now, as the name might indicate, Terry favors cars of the Nash Rambler AMC persuasion, but he's also got about 30 or 40 other makes and marks in his collection, just to be fair. It's a sight to behold. Trust me, you will be amazed. Terry, how you doing? Just great, thank you. Man, what a place. This is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. How did this all come about? I mean, this is it's quite an establishment, but it started, as I understand, from one car? Yep, my dad's 54 Ambassador. He bought from a friend from a dealership in Utah for $50 in a <laughs> trade-in. Yeah, what a bargain. <laughs> and uh, uh, he drove for a couple years, and the oil pump went out, and it sat in the uh, back of the house in the field for 18 years. Man. And my brother was going to have it hauled away, and he asked me, he said, you know, you want dad's old car? So we drug it out. And the tires held air, I couldn't believe it, and they had tubes, of course, in them. And I took it up to a friend of uh, my father's and he rebuilt the engine. It took two years to rebuild the motor, finding it, all the gaskets and sure. parts for it. And at that point, I drove it to Denver uh, with all the broken windows and everything, drove it over here <laughs> and had it restored here, and that started the whole obsession. And was that really the first restoration you were involved with? Or? Yes. Wow. That was the first one. Well, Terry, your place really is amazing. When I learned about it, I knew I had to come out and, and see it with my own eyes. But I didn't know what to pull out to, to focus on, so I decided to go after some deliberation with a couple funky 50s Nashes, the ones you got out here today. Let's start with the 55 Ambassador. All right. All right. Well, Terry, a 55 Nash Ambassador Super, right? Yes. This is a, this is a wild looking car. And, and uh, Nash used kind of this body style for a while, didn't they? About four years, yes. About four years? And they changed what, the front end and some other front stuff? Front end, uh, the taillights stayed the same for 52, three, and four, and five. But you know, there was, there was nothing that looked like this. No. No, I mean, they were very distinctive looking cars. And in a lot of respects, they were ahead of their time in, in many ways. Yes. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the features and stuff. Now, where'd you find this car? I, I saw this car driving down the street. I, I was sitting in an intersection, and I saw a Continental kit, so I turned around and chased it down. <laughs> and and, and you, you tracked the guy down, and you, did you buy it from him right there? No, unfortunately. He was uh, going to a car show from the Nash Club, and uh, it took me about 10 years to get this car. So you're persistent, too. Very. <laughs> well, now, now Nash was always, I mean, it was thought of as kind of a regular man's car in a lot of ways, and, and almost conservative, almost stodgy, but I find it interesting that it had uh, a, a, a naked woman hood ornament. Is that is that correct? Yes, that is. This is an original option. This is a petty hood ornament designed by a famous pinup artist of the 50s. We actually used a, a, a naked woman or in this bathing suit sitting on a chair posing in that position to design that hood ornament. Is that actually, is that, a, is that signed? Yes, it's a sign. Nash was the only company ever to do a signature on a hood ornament. <laughs> now that front end was also something that, if you see a Nash Healy, some of the Nash Healy's had yeah. a front end that looked a lot like that, didn't it? It's very similar to the 52, 3, and 4 Nash Healy's, yes. And a lot of the, you know, the, the body contours on a Nash were interesting and fairly complex. I mean, there was a lot of, a lot of curves and stuff. I would think it would be fairly expensive to manufacture this car. Well, Nash was a very conservative company and always struggled and so they kept the body style for a while and used the same things for many years. And these fenders are actually called the road guide fenders, as when you're sitting in the car, you use these, these peak fenders to keep you in your lane. Does it work? Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> and the two-tone paint job, I mean, that was pretty standard on these, or very yeah, common? Yeah, either? very common, the two-tone, you can actually you can get a three-tone paint job. Where they, what, changed out the, the top, too? the top, yeah. Wow. But I love the interior of these cars. And, I, and I, what I find interesting about the dash on, on these is they're, they're symmetrical about the center of the car. They're, yeah. not really, they're not really centered around the driver, they're centered around the car itself. A, a lot of the modern cars have done the same thing. Well, and it, and it does, I mean, it gives a nice look. It gives a much more balanced look oh, yeah. uh, to the dash. In the back here are these little uh, giveaway pegs here. One of the special things about Nash. Yes, yeah, so one of their famous features was the reclining 
uh, airliner reclining seats. And you pull the seat all the way forward and lay the seat down, and the back of the seat rested on that for support so you could sleep in the car. So it's completely flat. It just became this huge double bed, basically. Yes. Yep. Really, a, you know, it's, it looks like a very comfortable car to ride in. And there's the, the famous Continental kit that, that led you to this car. Yes. Now, that was actually an option on this model, though, right? Yeah, the Super, the Continental kit was an option. And if you got a custom, it came standard. So what engines could you get with this car in 55? This has the overhead valve six cylinder, but you could also get a Packard V8, which oh. later they changed to their own V8 when mm -hmm. they developed the 327. But this has got this overhead six? This is a six cylinder. Let's go look at it. All right. Ah, there she is. So what's the displacement? This is a, uh, a 252. I mean, they were rugged engines, so yes, as I recall. Yes, seven main bearing. Oh my gosh! It's practically indestructible. <laughs> and it's you know it's got a little road dirt on it, uh, but but you use your cars too, oh, absolutely. right? Absolutely, I'll drive these things anywhere. Has this one been on on major trips? Yes, I've taken this on two or three tr long trips. Uh, it's been to, uh, up to Idaho for uh, my niece's wedding. It's been over the mountains to Grand Junction. <laughs> well, they they do. They run great. They drive great. They're and they're they're happy cars. Very I, I, happy they, cars. They, they look happy. I think I always yeah. like that. Well, it's a it's a driving car. It's a beautiful driving day. Can we take it out? Absolutely. Can I drive it? You betcha. All right. Let's go. Welcome back to my classic car. I know, uh, Terry. I got to tell you that, frankly, that hood ornament's a little distracting <laughs> when you get right down to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that kept a man's eyes on the road. Yeah, right. Or at least that direction. Yes. This car did great going over. I took this over uh, over the mountains. My sister had surgery, and I told her, I said, I'll come and get you. And she needed to lay down, so I took this car over <laughs> so she could lay the seat back and lay down to travel. It was just perfect. Now, when people come to your place, to the Rambler Ranch, are they just are they just like blown away? Totally blown away. Most people that come to my place, I mean, these are cars that people can relate to because mm -hmm. they see them on the road, they're they're familiar with them. But what what is it about Nash, Rambler, and AMC that, that caught you? It's something that not everybody's done. You know, you go. I've been to tons of car shows, and you just never see these at a car show. And I wanted to be the guy at a car show with something different. A lot of headroom too. You, this was this was back when you could wear hats. Yes. You know, fedoras in a car. Yeah. Get away with well, it. Oh, the women wore hats. You know, Sundays at church, yeah. you wore a hat. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, that was a blast. That's a nice driving car. Thank you. Yes. Now this uh, this is uh, stepping up though a couple of years. That was a '55. This is a '57. We're also stepping up uh, a model. That was a Super, and this is a Custom. Yes. Now they changed the front end. Actually, these two cars are, are fairly different. Yeah, in 1956 they had a body change. Uh -huh. But they went the stack headlights, change the taillights, and pretty much the entire body has been revamped a little bit. The hood is, is the same. Mm -hmm. Now they, they added. I mean, these are pretty significant. These are marker lights. Or? These are the blinkers. Oh wow! What beautiful lenses! I mean, it's just they're gorgeous. This whole car is a work of art. It, it really, I love the color combination. What yeah, is it? This is a cinnamon bronze with a Georgia peach. Oh, cinnamon bronze, Georgia peach, huh? Yes. <laughs> now they uh, they toned down the hood ornament a little bit. Yeah. Fifty-seven, not quite quite as radical. They also changed the grill setup too considerably, didn't they? Yeah. It's starting to look a little more Rambler now, almost. Yeah. Yeah. This, Nash stopped in 1957. It was the last year they used the Nash and Hudson names. Mm -hmm. right. Now, where'd you find this baby? This was an eBay purchase. You're kidding me. No. Nope. I got to watch eBay more closely. <laughs> I got this car out of, out of California. It had been restored when I bought it. Uh -huh. uh, but looking at the pictures on eBay, it was just a stunning car. and I had to have it. Well, and, and boy, I mean, in, in real life, it's a stunning car. Yes. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece. Now, they also changed the, the side trim considerably, too, didn't they? Yes. On this. And there are two levels of that. If the the uh, Custom and the Super were a little different on the sides. Uh -huh. uh, this one, the, the Custom, the Z, is back into the rear quarter, and the other one is up in the door. Is it the same size car? It looks a little bigger. Now, I think the trim on the side makes it's this what? car look a little better, but it's the same. Still Pina Farina. Pina Farina. And flush mount, uh, or basically flush door handles. That was way ahead of its time. Yeah. That was a Nash thing. Yes. The 55 even had them, didn't yeah. it? But I tell you what, what kills me about this car is the interior. It's so 50s. Uh, you know, the fabrics are, are just, I mean, they're just beautiful. And the color combination is kind of peach and then kind of gray, a little bit of silver in there. It, it, it's just gorgeous. 
Now, is that a is that a, a, an armrest back there? Yes, that whole thing flips forward for an armrest for two. And then you can also use it uh, from the trunk. If you have something long to carry, you can push it through. There's a little curtain there, and you can push that open and haul your skis if you're going somewhere, or, or a long box. Oh, that's great. And still got, I see the little props there, so it's yeah. the same uh, Nash fold-down. Famous fold-down seats, the, yes. The rolling mattress. Yes. And the, and the, the dash is, is still, again, this kind of centered dash, but a little bit uh, more elegant. Yeah, this being a custom, it had the, uh, the special trim on there, that uh -huh. turned metal was an upgrade. And they, did, they certainly changed the, the taillights back here, too, uh, and, and the whole back fender. But I mean, those are, those are amazing. <laughs> uh, they're beautiful. They're huge taillights. And, and those are the, the uh, backup lights. They're almost you know, cathedral-like. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, those are backup lights? Yes. Must, must, must illuminate the world. The uh, Continental kit was standard on this, yes. on the custom level, right? Yes. Now, this would have probably had a bigger engine, too. Yes, this car is a V8. Let's go look at it. All right, now that's, that's, a, that's a Nash engine, actually. That's a Nash 327. Because they had used a Packard prior to that? Or? Yes. And has that all been rebuilt, redone? Yep, this one's all been redone. Runs like a top. Oil bath, air cleaner. Quite a stabilizer bar up here. Yeah, it's pretty heavy duty. <laughs> but then Nash's were known for being pretty heavy duty. Yeah. The Super drove like a dream. Is this one equally nice? Even nicer. Even nicer? Well, I'm, I happen to be on the driver's side once again. What do you say we take this one out next year? All right, let's do it. All right, close her up. Beauty. Welcome back to My Classic Car. I can't believe the uh, condition of, of this engine turn. I would expect that to be all dinged up. Most of them are. Yeah, this, this baby gets up and moves. Yes. The, uh, the 55 was, you know, it got there. It got there, it got there nicely. But this has got some get up and go to it. This is a nice travel car. A lot of people that bought Nash's were very economy minded and you didn't get a lot of options. Did you find a lot of stripped down Nash's out there? Yes, most of them are stripped down. Get a companion mirror is pretty rare. Uh, they had a, an optional rear wiper for the back window, which is really extremely hard to find on a car. So they put a park in the transmission in 57. Yeah. Or at least after 55. Yes. You really, you really had bought the top of the line Nash in 57 when you got this car. You could get the leather interiors on them as well. When Nash was unibody, which was unique back then, they were criticized for it, but it made them a lot stronger, except when they leaked inside, the rubber mat would hold the water and they'd rust and rest mm -hmm. out the structural boxes. Oh, this, is, this car's a blast. They're a lot more work to drive than the modern cars. Yes. You have to pay more attention. Oh, man. We had a blast today at the Rambler Ranch in Elizabeth, Colorado. About an hour south of Denver, about an hour north of Colorado Springs. Some of the finest Nash and Ramblers you'll see on the planet. And if Terry will let me come back, I'm gonna dig into that barn full of AMCs.